The Industrial Revolution is often hailed as one of the most pivotal moments in human history. It marked the turning point that transformed societies, economies, and even the environment. But for all the progress it brought the Industrial Revolution also unleashed forces that created some of the most significant problems we face today. Was it an unstoppable force for good or did it set humanity on a destructive path? We are still trying to navigate. This is the story of the Industrial Revolution, the triumphs, the tragedies and the consequences that continue to shape our world. Before the Industrial Revolution, life moved at the pace of the natural world. Most people live in rural villages working on farms and relying on tools powered by human or animal strength. The economy was primarily agrarian with small-scale craftsmanship forming the backbone of production. But everything changed in the late 18th century when a series of technological breakthroughs ignited a revolution that would upend this way of life forever. The Industrial Revolution began in Britain, a country uniquely positioned for such a transformation. Its abundant coal reserves, a well-established colonial empire providing raw materials, and a relatively stable political system created the perfect conditions for industrial innovation. The revolution started in the textile industry, with inventions like the spinning jenny, invented by James Hargreaves in 1764 which allowed workers to spin multiple threads of yarn simultaneously. This was followed by Richard R. Cry's water frame and Samuel Crompton's spinning mill which further accelerated production. Suddenly, fabric could be produced on a scale that was unimaginable just a few decades earlier. But no invention was more transformative than James Watt's steam engine. Building on earlier designs, Watt's improvements in the late 18th century made it possible to harness steam power more efficiently. This engine became the driving force behind factories, trains and ships effectively powering the entire industrial era. By the early 19th century, steam engines were everywhere, and Britain's landscape was transformed. Small towns became industrial hubs and rural populations flocked to cities in search of work in the rapidly expanding factories. The Industrial Revolution was a dream come true that it brought economic growth, technological progress and an explosion of new opportunities. Entrepreneurs like Richard R. Cried and Matthew Bolton became household names, amassing vast fortunes by harnessing the power of industrialization. For the middle class the revolution created new professions in engineering, banking and management. It seemed as though humanity had unlocked a new level of potential. For the working class the industrial revolution was a nightmare the factories were harsh and dangerous places. Workers labored for up to 16 hours a day, 6 days a week in poorly ventilated, dimly lit buildings and safety measures were almost non-existent. Children as young as 5 worked in textile mills. Crawling under machinery to fix gems or collect scraps often at the cost of their fingers or worse. Women were employed in dangerous industries like mining, where they hauled heavy loads of coal through narrow tunnels. The wages were meager barely enough to survive then and while the factory owners grew wealthier their employees lived in squalor. The rapid urbanization caused by industrialization created a new set of challenges. Cities like Manchester and Birmingham expanded so quickly that housing couldn't keep up. Workers live in overcrowded tenements where poor sanitation led to outbreaks of diseases like cholera, typhoid and tuberculosis. Life expectancy for urban workers was shockingly low sometimes just such years. Then there was the environmental toll the factories relied on coal to fuel their machines. And this came at a massive cost to the natural world. Coal mines scarred the landscape, while the burning of coal filled the air with soot and smoke. Rivers that once teemed with life became polluted with industrial waste. Deforestation accelerated as it was clear to fuel growing cities and industries. The air in cities like London became so polluted that people referred to the thick yellow smog as PC. Fog. Though no one at the time fully understood the long-term impact of these practices, the Industrial Revolution was laying the groundwork for the climate crisis we face today. As industrialization spread beyond Britain to continental Europe, the United States and eventually the rest of the world its impact became even more profound. Countries that industrialized first gained a significant advantage over those that didn't. This economic disparity fueled imperialism as industrialized nations sought raw materials and markets for the goods. Colonized countries like India were stripped of their resources, their local industries destroyed to serve the interests of the colonial powers. India's once thriving textile industry for example was decimated as British manufacturers flooded the market with cheaper machine-made goods. 
Despite these grim realities, industrialization also brought incredible advancements. It gave rise to modern medicine enabling longer lifespans and the ability to combat diseases that once wiped out entire populations. Transportation networks like railways and steamships connect the distant regions, spurring trade and cultural exchange. By the late 19th century, electricity revolutionized homes and workplaces, creating a new wave of innovation. Yet the Industrial Revolution's legacy remains deeply conflicted. While it brought unprecedented progress, it also created new forms of inequality. Wealth became concentrated in the hands of industrialists and financiers, while millions of workers struggled to make ends meet. This inequality sparked the rise of labor movements in the 19th and 20th centuries. Workers organized strikes and unions demanding better wages, shorter hours and safer working conditions. Landmark reforms such as the Factory Acts in Britain eventually improved the lives of workers. But these victories were hard fought and often came too late for many. Today, the consequences of the Industrial Revolution are more apparent than ever. The climate crisis is arguably its most enduring legacy. The relentless extraction and burning of fossil fuels, which began during the industrial era have led to rising global temperatures, melting ice caps and more frequent natural disasters. Efforts to transition to renewable energy are underway, but the clock is ticking and the challenge is immense. Industrialization's focus on consumption and growth has created a culture of overproduction and waste, thrives on the exploitation of both people and the planet, from sweatshops in developing countries to deforestation in the Amazon. The patterns established during the industrial era persist in new forms. Did the industrial revolution ruin the world? The answer depends on perspective. It undeniably brought progress, lifting millions out of poverty. But it also created profound inequalities, environmental destruction, and a consumer-driven society that many argue is unsustainable. Perhaps the more important question is what we can learn from the Industrial Revolution. It serves as a stark reminder that every great leap forward comes with consequences. Progress is not inherently good or bad, it's what we do with it that matters. Today, we have the tools and knowledge to address the challenges industrialization created. Renewable energy, sustainable practices, and social reforms offer hope for a better future. But time is running out and the choices we make now will determine whether the legacy of the Industrial Revolution is one of progress or ruin. The Industrial Revolution was a defining moment in history, a story of ambition, ingenuity, and unintended consequences. It shaped the world we live in today and offers lessons we cannot afford to ignore. What will we do with those lessons? That is a question only we can answer. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Industrial Revolution is how it fundamentally altered humanity's relationship with time and work. Before industrialization, most people's work was tied to the rhythms of nature planting in spring, harvesting in autumn, resting when the sun set. But factories demanded a new kind of discipline in the clock, not the sun became the master. Workers were required to adhere to strict schedules, often punching in at dawn and leaving after sunset with only brief breaks for meals. This regimentation was a radical departure from the relative flexibility of pre-industrial labor. At first many people resisted it in England. There are records of workers sabotaging machines smashing spinning frames and looms, and forming groups like the Luddites who opposed the mechanization of their trades. To them, the machines were not symbols of progress but agents of their dispossession. They were losing control over their skills, their time, and their livelihoods all in the name of efficiency and profit. Governments and industrialists responded harshly using military force to suppress uprisings and passing laws that criminalized resistance. The state aligned itself with the interests of the factory owners. Illustrating a broader shift, industrialization wasn't just about technology, it was about power. It centralized authority, wealth and resources in the hands of a few, reshaping social hierarchies and reinforcing systems of inequality. That persist to this day. Globally, the Industrial Revolution acted as a double-edged sword. While it introduced innovations that improve life for many, it also entrenched systems of exploitation on a scale never seen before. The colonized nations bore the brand of this. The British Empire, for instance, used its industrial might to dominate global trade, flooding markets with cheap goods and suppressing local industries. In India, the destruction of traditional textile production not only impoverished artisans but also disrupted in Thai communities. The transatlantic slave trade which predates the Industrial Revolution became deeply intertwined with industrialization. The demand for cotton to fill the textile mills of Britain 
rely heavily on enslaved labor in the American South. The profits from this system flowed into industrial capitals like Manchester and Liverpool, creating a dark connection between technological progress and human suffering. These patterns of exploitation laid the groundwork for the global inequalities we see today, where wealthier nations often thrive at the expense of poorer ones. Yet, alongside the exploitation, there was also resistance and reform. Workers' movements gained momentum throughout the 19th century. In Britain, the Chartist movement demanded political representation for the working class. While labor unions fought for better wages and conditions, women played a critical role in these struggles, not only as workers but as organizers and leaders. Figures like Mother Jones in the United States and Mary Harris in Britain championed the rights of laborers, paving the way for the social safety nets we rely on today. The industrial era also sparked philosophical debates that remain relevant. Thinkers like Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels observed the profound inequalities of the time and developed theories about capitalism and class struggle. Marx argued that the Industrial Revolution created a system where the working class or proletariat was exploited by the capitalist class who owned the means of production. His ideas, the controversial inspired movements around the world, from the labor strikes of the early RCTH century to the Russian Revolution of 1917. On the other side of the ideological spectrum, industrialists like Like Andrew Carnegie in the United States promoted the concept of the gospel of wealth. They argued that the immense fortunes generated by industrialization could be used for the public good, funding libraries, schools, and infrastructure. Carnegie himself donated millions to such causes. The critics noted that his philanthropy didn't erase the exploitation that built his wealth. As we move closer to the present day, the question of whether the industrial revolution ruined the world becomes even more complex. Its technological legacy is undeniable, and without it, we wouldn't have electricity, cars, or the internet tools that have transformed our lives in countless positive ways. It also gave rise to a new understanding of science, medicine, and engineering, which has saved billions of lives. However, The environmental consequences are staggering. The industrial revolution marked the beginning of the Anthropocene, the current geological age defined by human impact on the planet. The burning of fossil fuels, which began in earnest during the industrial era, has led to unprecedented levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Scientists warn that we are approaching tipping points that could make parts of the planet uninhabitable. The patterns of consumption established during the industrial revolution continue to drive modern economies. Plan obsolescence, the practice of designing products to break or become outdated, quickly keeps factories running and profits high, but at the expense of sustainability. This mindset has created mountains of waste and accelerated resource depletion. Can we break free from this cycle, or are we doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past? There are glimmers of hope in the lessons of the Industrial Revolution. Remind us that humanity is capable of immense creativity and resilience. The same ingenuity that gave us steam engines and assembly lines is now driving the development of renewable energy. Carbon capture technology and circular economies, movements for environmental justice, fair labor practices, and equitable trade are challenging the legacies of exploitation. But the clock is ticking down just as industrialization demanded a rethinking of how we work and life. Addressing its consequences will require both systemic changes. We must ask ourselves, what kind of progress do we want? Can we build a world where technology serves humanity and the planet? Rather than exploiting them, the industrial revolution was a watershed moment, a story of unparalleled ambition and unintended consequences. It changed what it means to be human, for better and for worse. As we navigate its legacy, we must remember that history is not destiny. The choices we make today will shape the future, just as the choices made two centuries ago shaped the world we live in now. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If this story resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to History for Everyone. Together. We can explore the past to better understand the present and shape a brighter future.